What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf outside the Raf cave in this beautiful, sunny, wonderful day. Um, I'm about to show you guys the full tour of my Yume Y11 Plus Hyper Scooter. Uh, I've done a few videos of uh, riding along with the scooter, and that's with uh, my webcam or helmet cam. Uh, if you want to check those out, go ahead. Uh, this one's just strictly going to be all the accessories I've added to my scooter to make it uh, maximized, right? Uh, so anyway, uh, let's get into uh, the tour. All right, here is my beautiful Yume scooter. Um, man, the, th the thing for me was the most important was the deck. Um, originally, you get a Yume strip here, and I was like, that's not going to fly. Uh, what I wanted to have is start with a theme. So before I did any upgrades to my scooter, I wanted to find uh, the coolest uh, grip tape design that I could find, and I found this on Amazon, and I couldn't uh, couldn't pass it up. It was the last one on the store. It's Venom, Marvel Venom, and which which is even great is because the third Venom movie is coming out this year, so it's like oh, this is just beautiful. Uh, so I'll give you a little roundabout tour of my scooter from afar. And then we'll get into the uh, nitty gritty of it here. Um, so also on my channel, if you want to see various accessories that I bought for it, uh, look those up. I bought majority of them on you, uh, not Yume, uh, Timu, Timu Temu. I uh, bought a ton of accessories on there, and also some uh, parts from uh, Ali Plus or Ali Express, Ali Express. A lot of cool stuff there as well. Man, so where do we begin? Jeez. <clears throat> um, should we start from top to bottom? Let's just do top to bottom. All right. So these are the handlebars here. Um, I guess, yeah, let's start here. So as far as the handle grips go, uh, these are, don't even know what that means. OD, blah, blah. Uh, I got these on, uh, I believe, AliExpress. Or maybe Timu guys, I just, it, it, so many accessories I'm, I'm mixed up. But what I wanted to find was uh, thick enough uh, palm rests uh, because a lot of these are, a lot of them are kind of thinner. And I was like, man, I got large hands, so I need something to place my palms on. So these are just perfect. They feel so nice. I can lay my, my palm on here and feel comfortable. Nice handle grip. It feels really nice. I've, I've gone through a couple different ones and these are definitely my favorite um, got some of these grips for the brake pedals here nice rubbery so fingers just hang on nicely um, this is stock here this is just for uh, the lights on and off here turn signal and then horn and uh, yeah so this guy here this is my rear view camera this is a uh, Kind of like a baby monitor for a car. Just got that attached there. And it's hooked up to this camera. This camera right here can see what's behind me. So I don't need no rear view mirrors which hang off and are weird and extend the length and they vibrate and all that stuff. So I got this little screen here so I can look down and I'm good to go. So that's cool. Uh, of course, you know, got to put a Mortal Kombat sticker on here as a perfect little diameter to put in that spot. Uh, I'm going to have a nice phone holder for you. This one here is big enough for my Samsung S23 Ultra. So it's got nice little rubber grips here. I uh, got this one, I believe, Amazon, maybe, you know. So we got this little lock here. So it just locks it in when I put my phone in. So it keeps it nice and tight. And it's got good, good handlebar grip there. So it doesn't move at all. So that's cool. I added this uh, extra bar here for accessories. So look for something like that, which is nice. And then I added this light here. What's cool about this one, it's got solar charging on top. And uh, of course it has some cool lights on the side that light up. And then it's got nice, nice light in front for night driving. But what's really cool is this, you get an extra charging port back there that if I needed to, I can just plug into my phone. So it's like an extra battery pack for charging, which is nice. And you know what? I was like, 
why don't I have more light night driving? So this beast right here, five LED lights, super crazy bright. And uh, I believe this one, yeah, you can use to charge as well, which is nice. So I just use that to point more downward to lay out in front of me. Not so much in front, straight on, but more in front to see the road, you know. Um, yep, got the other grip over here. Brake, brake pedal there. Now, as far as the throttle goes, now what I've had before was the thumb throttle. And I always believed that the thumb throttle was the way to go, you know. But what I found is when I have the thumb throttle, I have a lot of extra space when gripping the handle handlebar grips, and I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I really want to have a nice grip. And what I found is that when you use a finger throttle, you get a nice grip on the handlebar and, and still be able to do the, the acceleration. And also, which is crazy, is this acceleration is much more sensitive than the thumb. If I move just, just like a millimeter, it's, it's moving. Where the thumb throttle, I have to move a little bit before it started kicking in. So this one's like super accurate. So I love it. And I did, uh, this is, this did crack already. So I put some duct tape on there. I have a replacement because Yume is an amazing company. They sent me a repl replacement. So in case this one does go loose, I can just swap it with the, the new one. And just be very careful when you're tightening it because this handlebar actually grows in diameter. It's not the same width from here to here. So anyway, just don't over tighten it. But it seems to be good so far. So I'm happy. Um, now, also in conjunction with this uh, headlight is it comes with this little horn here. So it's very loud. That, that's an extra horn. So in case one's not enough, it's not loud enough for the trails, I can blast two of them now. So I have two horns. And then this little guy here, we're going to get to, this is going to be um, a wireless turn signal controller. So I can uh, make these lights here blink with this so turn signal turn signal this actually will make them uh, flash on and off yellow or go red or stay on uh, continuously so that's that all right so uh, yeah and then of course this is your power button here power button gear and uh, or dual mode and speed speed uh, settings I keep it on two two is plenty and you know, there actually is a, a USB-C here as well, which I never use, but apparently I guess you can use this to charge your phone as well or some, some other device. So it's very cool. You can siphon off your, your scooter battery. All right, so moving down more, this is the Yume bag that came with it. Uh, very important to have a bag uh, to put various, uh, various things inside, which I'll show you here if I can with one arm. All right, guys, so what I got in here is a nice, decent lock. I know these can probably be cut with a gigantic cutter, but you know, when I, if, ever, if I ever, which I have not used this yet, I've had this scooter for five months, I've not used this. If I were, were to lock up my scooter, I wouldn't be gone for more than a couple minutes, even though that could be as long as it, it would take, but. Let me continue what else I got. Um, okay, so got to have the, the reflective vest when night riding, of course. Okay, safety first, guys. All right, just put this one. Yeah. What are, what are the goodies do I have? Uh, this right here is a, a handle or a brake lock. So if I were to stop for a while, I can actually lock the brake on this one. So it continuously locks the wheel so it doesn't spin. So we got that one. And what else we got in here? We got this one here, which is actually a disc lock. So let's say I put the lock on here, you know, put this guy right here to lock this, it's gonna lock the front wheel. But now I can put this on the back lock. So that will slide right onto here and lock this. 
So you can't turn both wheels once those are too engaged. And this is also an alarm. So if you do tamper with this, this will make a, a huge alarm. I have not used these yet. They're just chilling. They're chilling inside my bag. In case for some reason I gotta stop somewhere, I can use them. Uh, do I have anything else in, down in here? Let me see. I'm digging. Oh, look at this guy. All right, so this is another lock. Uh, this is a helmet lock. So if you want to leave your helmet with your scooter, if you want, you can just use this little little chain thing and wrap it around your helmet and put a little combination. So just something else to do as well. And uh, let's see our keychain here. Uh, now this, what do we got? What's that little venom? Uh, this is a uh, unlocking feature. I forget what it's called, but you can unlock the scooter by, by doing that. Boop. Very nice. Uh, these are the keys for the locks. So they all come with keys. So key for the, that lock and key for both the uh, brake, the disc brake and handlebar lock. And then this guy here is a motion alarm. This one here will allow me to turn on uh, where are you at? Oh yeah, this guy. This is a motion detection alarm. So if anyone were to move my scooter, it would give you a warning beep. Boop, boop, boop. And if they do it again, move it around, it will full-blown siren very loudly and get everyone's attention. So for me, one, two, three, four different alarm locking protections for my scooter gotta gotta be safe um yeah so that's the baggie get that all back in there so it does it does add extra weight to my scooter but i don't mind you know gotta be prepared in case you want to go somewhere fun you're gonna be out for a while all right so that's locked up okay moving down uh, what do we got? This is my bag holder. So let's say I want to go to the grocery store or some store and you get your bag. You can hook it right on there and boom, let it dangle and then there's your bag holder. So very cool if I need to make some errands, go for a run. This is my, uh, you know, drink holder. Bottle, can, water mug, jug, whatever you want. Slide it in there, very strong, aluminum. Looks nice with the red and black, of course. The theme is red and black, of course. So we did that. And then what else we got here? We got, uh, now this kind of slid down a little bit. Got a little residue. Uh, but what I wanted to do is get some little reflective tapes, reflective tape and stickers, and just kind of variously just decorate the scooter in the theme of red and black. And it's always, you know, Safety wise, want to have reflection from car lights so they see you. Very important. All right, moving down. Uh, this is just going to be a standard uh, LED light. Just uh, want more lights on my scooter, which is cool. These are the uh, wireless lights that you just turn on by pressing the power button, and then they're controlled with this remote right here. And then these are the fisheye. Your angel eye lights, very bright, very cool. Come stock with the scooter. Those are nice. And then uh, we got Venom stickers. And just some more reflective uh, decorations for that. And then looking on the back of the wheel, we got Venom right there. Gotta have that, which is cool. Uh, this right here is just to uh, protect the wire from rubbing on something. So when I turn, when I turn the steering wheel, these wires kind of get close to this, so I just want to make sure it doesn't rub in it too much. Also with here as well. Now, we're getting to the nitty gritty here of the extras. This is a steering damper. Very important, guys. If you want stability when you're riding your scooter, um, keeping the wheel more straight and not wobbling so much, look into a steering damper. Very important. I crank mine up pretty good because I like to have a nice good tension with it. So when you turn your wheel, really nice. You gotta have those guys look that up. Got that on AliExpress. Uh, moving down the wheel, 
put some more reflective stickers on the rim got the uh, the uh, valve cap here it's red kind of cool and these are uh, I forget the name of these but basically if you're ever to tip over uh, this would protect uh, some bolts in here and stuff and it just looks nice too got two of them bam all right moving back here uh, we got some more Venom stickers there. I added limited edition because it's my limited edition. And we got Turbo here. And then we have the model number. And there's some specs there as well for you. And then on the other side, Venom limited edition. A couple cool stickers got some from Esty. And then a kickstand. I couldn't, I couldn't find a replacement kickstand. So I tried to loosen those bolts, but then you gotta take apart the whole panel and try to get in there and it's a mess. So I didn't bother. Uh, so going in the back, we got some more reflective stickers here. Reflection here, rim. Put some more of these on there. And a very important thing is to replace your back suspension. I removed the air suspension and went with the spring suspension. And uh, Oh, I guess some dirt on there. I need lots of dirt. Um, this is a 2,000 pound uh, spring suspension for me, so I'm a big dude, so I wanted the, a beefy one. Uh, you got your turn signals here. Got some more reflective tape on top. Venom in the back here. Uh, this piece here is very important, guys. You got to get a kick plate, especially when you're going fast. You want your back back foot to go on something really secure, so. That's that we, I got from SD as well. Huge improvement. Uh, this is going to be a, a brake light. Uh, it's going to detect if I'm braking and turn on the LED, or I can he keep it always on or flash if I want. This is going to be a rear camera, and this is a mount for my GoPro uh, camera. If I want to record what's behind me, I can do that, and you can see that in one of my videos as well. Uh, turn signal lights, of course. More, more uh, strips, sticker strips. And uh, yeah, that's about it there. Another reflective sticker there. And then the top, I uh, added this extra grip tape, just cut it out red. And then I got these extra little, I'm not sure what you call them, covers or, I just made it look nice anyway. Um, so, that is about it there for the overview of the Raft Cave scooter. Uh, top speed I got on this one is 46 miles an hour. Uh, because, you know, I weigh 260 pounds and I got a ton of extra stuff on here, so I get it. It's not going to do the 50 as advertised. I'm fine with that. Uh, anything I missed, guys? I don't know. Let me show you my helmet real quick so these are my uh, protective gloves here these are extra large and they are very comfortable and they have really cool design with the red and black good ventilation for the fingers and knuckles and a nice uh, palm support and then you guys have seen my you guys have seen my helmet right this is the LS2 Assault Put a little sticker on the back with a LED light on the back there that can flash and illuminate. Got to have the Venom back here in the helmet. And then you add the uh, Bluetooth speaker inside. And I uh, added the uh, tinted visor, of course. Got to got to look cool when you're when you're riding. And then we have the uh, chin chin mounts for my GoPro whenever I need it. And then I put the extra speakers inside, of course, so I can listen to my music when I'm riding. Good ventilation and it looks badass and it just perfectly perfectly uh, goes with my scooter so uh, so yeah all right guys well thanks for watching um, appreciate you guys watching me along this journey uh, maybe I'll put in a shot of the uh, nighttime lights and uh, put it in this video but you guys have a good day enjoy scooting and uh, I'm gonna go riding right now because it's a beautiful day 
All right, guys, another thing I gotta add here is I do have a riding backpack here. This is a very nice backpack. Really good, uh, some kind of like foam padding here, cooling gel or something, very nice, comfortable straps. And I specifically, specifically got this one because it's large enough for my helmet. So if I need to, I could uh, put my helmet in here and, and slap it in there, it's all good. So it's big enough for that. But looking on the inside, we got some nice pockets. But I got a couple other things. We got, we are Venom, of course. You got to have the uh, the themed, the themed gloves here, which are very cool. We are Venom. Love it. There you go. We are Venom. Got to have that. We need to have a nice air compressor here for tires, right? So you got to have this portable, mobile. It's uh, wonderful. It's rechargeable. It's got a light here. Got to have one of those, right? Uh, what else we got here? Uh, we got a microfiber cloth for cleaning. And, uh, oh, cameras. So we got the GoPro Hero 2 right here for the back of the scooter. The back, if you want to record in the back, got that one. And this one is for my helmet cam. So that will go right on my helmet. And I can do a cool front, front video with that guy. Uh, what else we got in here? Oh, that's the bag for the air, air compressor. Uh, this here is for cleaning the, yeah, cleaning the the grip tape. It's a little rubber thing here. You just kind of glide across there if you want to clean your your grip tape. Very easy to do. Keep it looking nice. Yep, there you go. Get the black off of there from my shoes. And uh, yeah, there it is, right? Easy to clean that. So make sure you grab some of that from your grip tape. And let's see, we got some sunglasses here. What else? Oh yeah, the extension for the back. Uh, for that guy there. I'll go like that. And then... Um, I guess that's the... Uh, Oh, this is the microphone for the helmet. If I want to speak to the, the Hero 4 here, that'll go on the side, and then I can put this in my helmet and talk so you can get some voice. And then some kind of brush if I need to clean my scooter here. You know, just kind of cl clean it whenever I need to. And get in the little crevices and all that. Just comes in handy, you know, sometimes. So keep your scooter looking good. All right, anyway, let's head outside and see the lights. All right, Raft Gang, it's nighttime and we're about to go on a night ride. So I want to give you a little tour of the lights. So uh, you got the LEDs on the side there. That's stock. I didn't want to mess with it because it's kind of impossible to change those, so I didn't bother. Uh, you got your brake lights on, which are always on, which are cool. Uh, this guy here will, there you go, motion detection and brake that'll turn on there. Uh, blinkers. Uh, blinkers are gonna be here. There's your blinker if you wanna do the blinking. Like that. I rarely ever use that, so we don't do that. Uh, there's the helmet, the back of the helmet. We turn that bad boy on. And then we got the front, which is all illuminated. Crazy lights, be able to see everything, I love it. And then those are the main lights there. The angel eyes. Alright guys, well there it is. Raft cave tour. Now we're going to go night riding. And uh, I can't wait. So Thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, share. And remember, uh, Timu or AliExpress for a lot of this stuff. And there is a link in the description. If you want to help me out, help yourself out. And get some sweet accessories for your scooter. Alright guys, home theater rules. Scooting rules. Raft out. See ya.